Now that your CS Tidy 41 is set up and ready, let's get grommeting. For our demonstration, we will be using Clip Shop's solid brass self-piercing grommets with a nickel finish. I bet you take pride in what you are making. You want it to look professional and last for a long time. Keep in mind that our Clip Shop brass grommets will not rust. Other brands may be inferior with brass plated steel, which will rust. The easiest way to test for steel grommets is with a magnet. If your grommet sticks to a magnet, then it is steel. First, you'll need to put your grommet onto the top part of the die set. Flange side up and neck pointing down. The washer goes on the bottom part of the die set, indented side up and bevel side down. Once your grommet and washer are set into place, you can lay your material in between the two. Now you're ready to set that grommet. First, we will use the manual trigger. This option is available in all models of the CS Tidy 41. Kindly pull the trigger downward to activate a cycle. Notice how the finger guard comes down first. If it were obstructed, it would prevent the press from cycling for operator safety. For the next grommet, we will use the foot pedal. The foot pedal option is only available for specific models. If you plan to use it, please be sure you purchase the right model. Once the grommet and washer are into place, press on the foot pedal to activate a cycle. There are a number of ways to ensure that your grommet is in proper position, such as using a printed mark on your material, using the optional clip shop laser pointer, or using the grommet sniper alignment fixture, which is demonstrated in the next video. Some customers use homemade templates to fit the needs of their project and hold the substrate in place. It is important that your material is flat so it doesn't move while the grommet is being set. Lastly is the top button. The button can be mounted to the right or left side of the machine according to user's preference. Once the washer and grommet are set into place, press on the top button to activate a cycle. The top button feature is available on specific models. Again, we ask you to be sure that you are purchasing the correct model if you plan to use this feature. Now that we've covered the grommeting basics, here are a few more features of the machine in greater detail. The finger guard, when properly set and used, is OSHA certified. The speed is also adjustable. Turn this knob left for fast and right for slow to adjust the speed of the cycle. The sensitivity of the cycle can be adjusted with these small Allen screws on the right side of your machine. Because the sensitivity could have been moved during shipping, it is good to adjust the screws. The safest way would be to loosen and move to the right for the most sensitive setting prior to making any cycles. Some factors that influence the safety settings are thickness of the base plate, size of the die, and thickness of the substrate. Available exclusively for the CS Tidy 41 are special self-cleaning dies. As you can see, the waste generated from the center falls right into this bin. You can keep your work area tidy during production and make clean up a snap. These special die sets are currently available in sizes 1, 2, 3, and 5.5. We use the number 2, which is the most common set. In order for the dies to work correctly, precise alignment is critical with the top and bottom dies. As I mentioned, watch our next video to find out how to use the awesome, one-of-a-kind grommet sniper add-on fixture that can't be found anywhere else. It is used for precision spacing between grommets, inconsistent alignment from the grommets to the edge of the material, 